Hey guys, it's Ashley. We're doing a little bit of light stretching today. Go ahead and get to your mat. We'll start sitting up nice and tall. You can be on your um, knees just like I am, or maybe you want to sit cross-legged. We'll just begin with a couple breaths. You can close your eyes, start to take a deep breath in. And exhale, relaxing your shoulders. Just starting to focus inward. Noticing how your emotions are today. Noticing maybe what's tight on your body, what feels good, just noticing. And we'll set our intention for this class to really just give your body what you want. No judgments and just feel free to take as many options or other options. Um, if I don't say something and you, your body is wanting to go there, just go there and take care of yourself today. Take another inhale. And exhale, release. Good, and wherever you are, cross over your legs. We'll come into our cat cow to start your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. Take an inhale as you lift through your chest, belly buttons lifted up towards the core or towards the ceiling. And then arch your spine, round, lifting the spine as high as you can towards the ceiling. And as you take your inhale, lift up towards your cow. And then exhale, rounding forward into your cat. We'll take this a few more times. You can take this as slow as you'd like. Maybe you start to take a different movement that you enjoy. Okay, let's start to circle here. Really taking it slow and envisioning how your spine is moving. Good. Let's go ahead and sit back onto our hips and come into a child's pose. Reach your fingertips forward, widen your knees. We can start to rock side to side. That feels really nice on my hip flexors. And then we'll go ahead and walk our fingertips towards the right side. Keep the hips in the center so you can keep pulling back onto that left hip. Just stretch the left side of your body, press into your fingertips to lift the elbows and take a nice deep breath and long exhale. One more long, long inhale. Feeling your lungs up and exhale. Side out. Walk the fingertips towards the left side. Slowly reach forward as far as you can. Reach the hip back. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach, grow a little longer. Exhale. And walk back to the center. We'll roll through our spine to come up to sit onto our hips. Our shoulders are over our hips. Bring the knees back together. Take a breath here as you roll the shoulders up and back. Good. Reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath and we'll exhale as we twist towards the right side. Keep a length in your spine as you inhale. And then exhale, twist through the navel, looking towards the right shoulder. One more inhale. In your twist to lift and exhale, bringing the spine out, hydrating your discs. Inhale, come back to center, arms over your head. And then exhale, twisting towards the left, looking towards the left shoulder. Inhale to lengthen, abs are supported. Exhale to twist. One more breath. And exhale. 
Inhale, back to the center, reach your arms up high, clasp the right hand towards your left wrist. Keep a long spine as you lift, hips stay grounded, and then exhale, take a little rainbow bend over, up and over towards the right side. Keep bringing the right shoulder forward so the hips stay parallel to the front top edge of your mat. And then let's come back to center, grab the opposite wrist, keep grounding through your hips as you lift up and over, deep breath into the side of your body. And exhale, bring it back, roll your shoulders now back and forward. From here, go ahead and bring your feet in front of you. We'll bring our feet together and our knees apart, coming into a little butterfly. You can grab onto your ankles. Inhale as you lengthen through your chest. And then exhale as you round, just like we did in that cat. And then we'll round forward, keeping our own spine all the way until the chest comes over the ankles. Start to bring yourself into a flat back and lift. And we'll do that again. So you're grabbing onto your ankles, pulling yourself, exhale, rounding back, bringing it forward, inhale with a flat back, and lift. You can always bring blocks under your legs if you need a little support. Let's do that one more time. Good, and next time you lengthen your spine, we're going to reverse. So we come down with the flat back, and then exhale as you round and press back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. And round it back. Last time. Again, always taking anything slower if that feels better. Good, from here, let's cross our right leg over our left thigh or calf. Keep that top foot flexed, sit tall on your cyst bones. From here, take a big inhale, and we'll cross our right arm under the left, maybe the palms touch or the back of the hands touch, or maybe you can cross it wherever you are, press the shoulders down, lift your elbows, breathe into your shoulder blades. Take an inhale. And then maybe exhale, round forward. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, round forward. Good. Inhale to lengthen. Open through your chest. And then release the hands. Let's uncross the legs and switch sides. So flex that top foot wherever you are. Nice and tall on your cyst bones. Arms come out to the side. This time left arm up and over. Left arm under. Did we just do that side? No. Left arm up <laughs> underneath. Inhale. Round forward. And lift. Exhale. Round forward. And how to lift. Open the chest. Big breath here. And release the arms. Let's roll your shoulders up and down once more. Good. Uncross your legs. And we'll come back to our tabletop. Bring our knees underneath your hips. Press into the balls of your feet as you lift up to your downward dog. You can take whatever you need here. Maybe lift and lower heels. You can walk it out. You can stay there. Release your head. And let's walk our hands to our feet. Good, so we're in a forward fold here at the back of our mat. You can sway side to side, bend the legs as much as you need. Release the back of your neck. Release the jaw. Release in between your eyes. 
And we'll, we're going to take a very, very small or slow roll up. So bend your legs. One vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly roll it up. Reach your arms up, clasp the left hand, just like we did before, the left or the right hand to your left wrist. Lengthen up and over. Find that rainbow here, grounding through your feet, grounding through the hips. And then we come back to center. Switch your grip, lengthen up and over. Good, come back to center, arms come down by your side. Slowly roll down, just as slow as we came up. Good, okay. And let's just rock back, sway once more, side to side, clasping elbows if it feels good. And then we'll bend our legs, release the arms, roll halfway up until your hands meet your thighs. Keep rounding your spine and then inhale, come into your cow while you're standing. Exhale, come into your cat. Good, really lengthening, finding space in your spine in each direction. Time we find your cat, let's make our way back down to our forward fold. Once we're there, we'll start to sway. Maybe you widen the feet a little bit. We're going to start to sway up. So really, really stretching the side of your back. And we'll just slowly, slowly keep swaying until we're at the top. And then from here, walk your feet together so your toes are touching or as close as they can comfortably be together. Go ahead and bring your arms out to a T once more. And then just like we did before, bring the right arm under the left, come into your eagle arms. Take an inhale, lift your chest. And then exhale, round through your feet, squeeze your glutes, and let's take a little seat. So finding our chair here in our eagle arms. And then we'll exhale to round. Inhale as you lift, the, uh, the lower body stays the same. Exhale to round. One more. Inhale to lift. Exhale round. Good. You can inhale and rise to stand. Unclasp the arms. Open up through your chest. And then release the arms down, stand in your Tadasana, Mountain Pose. And from here, bring your arms out to a T once again. Now this time the left arm comes over, you find your eagle arm once again. Inhale, lengthen through your chest. And then exhale, sit back into your chair. Good, from here, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Once more. Good. Inhale, lifting up, rise to stand, open the chest. Clasp the hands, open a little more. Good. Release the arms and let's slowly, slowly roll down. Once your hands meet the mat, let's go ahead and walk out. Find that dog work. downward dog once again. Widen your feet. Feet are hips distance apart. Reach the right leg back and up, and let's open that right hip. Good. From here, straighten the legs, square the hips, bring the right knee to nose, lift, and plant that right foot down. We'll right away release that back knee, and inhale, lift your chest into your Andhanyasana. Hands can come to your legs or reach the arms high. 
wherever you feel most comfortable. Keep those glutes working as you lift through the front of your hips. Good, and you can kind of just bring your hips forward and back here, forward and back. And then we'll take some circles. So kind of circle your hips around, really thinking about the top of the hip bone here, kind of rotating. Good, and then sink a little lower, take one breath. Bring your hands to the mat, and we'll straighten the front leg. Bring your toes to the ceiling, keep your chest high. Good, take one more inhale, long inhale. And extra long exhale. Bend the front leg, lift the back knee, bring the back leg in, and then tap that knee on the outside of that right foot, bring your hips down. So the foot is planted on the mat, the sis bones are planted on the mat as much as they can be. I would rather the hips be on the mat than the foot. So make sure the sis bones are planted. Reach the right hand behind you, lift the left arm up. Take an exhale as we twist. So ground through that right hip bone, press it down to the mat, and then pull this leg closer to you, or press the elbow against the leg and the leg against the arm. So we're creating a nice little stretch on the side of our leg, keep lengthening, keep breathing. Good. Let's bring our hands back. Find that low lunge from here. And then turn our toes towards the left side of your mat. So we're coming into a wide-legged forward fold. You can release the head as much as you need. You can walk the feet together as much as you need. Good. And from here, let's lengthen our chest. Bend the legs. Straighten the legs. Bend and straighten. Keep the legs straight, reach the arms like a tease. We're finding a little flat back. Opposite arm, opposite leg, hips stay in the center. We slice over to the left side, and we slice over to the right, keeping our arms like a T, keeping our core solid. One more time to the right, one more time to the left. And let's face the back of our mat, left foot forward, three-legged dog. Sweep that left leg up and back. Open your hip. Shoulders press down. Release the neck. Equal weight in the hands. Then let's straighten the legs. Square the hip. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. And release that knee down. Lengthen the chest. Gently release the back knee down. Coming into your Anjaniyasana. Take a deep breath. And we'll start to gently rock forward and back. Start to take those tiny circles with the hips. Little tiny circle. Good. Plant the hands. Take the back knee up. Step that back foot in. The right leg comes to the outside of the left foot. Plant your sits bones down. Plant the left hand down. Reach up and over with that right arm. Elbow to the thigh, keep grounding that left sits bone down, lengthen through your chest. Take another inhale, and extra long exhale. One more. Good, and this time bring your hands back to the front of the mat, coming back through your low lunge. Turn the toes towards the right side, this time, We'll straighten one leg and bend one leg. So we'll walk our hands to one side, really stretching that inner thigh. You can keep the hips up as high as you need. Maybe you don't use the hands and you walk side to side. Good. And let's meet at the top of the mat towards the right side, right leg is in front. Come back to your three-legged dog. Open that hip. 
Let's take some circles here. Good. Straighten the legs, square the hip. Right knee into the chest, plant it down on Dhaniasana. Inhale, lifting up. Let's come a little lower now that we've been here before. And then we'll straighten the front legs. You can flow through this a couple times on your own. Okay, next time you're in your Anjaniyasana, you have a choice to plant the left hand, grab for the back leg, and really keep pressing those hips forward so you get a nice stretch in the front of your leg. Take one more breath. Release that back leg if you took that option. Wherever you are, lift that back leg, step it in. Hip bones or cis bones ground down. Plant the right hand, lengthen up and over. Good. Bring the hands back. Find your little lunge. And let's find our toes to the left side once more. Let's go ahead and sway this time. Sway side to side. You can bend the leg and straighten. Good. Just kind of releasing the back once more. Good. And then from here, let's start to stand. Release the back, release the back. Wiggle forward and back as you stand. And then once we are tall, bring the arms up. Left arm up. Actually, just left arm. And let's go up and over, stretching the left side. Good, and then one more time, up and over. Other side. Good, and let's windmill the arms down, coming to the back, towards the left foot. So the back side, back of your mat, left foot is forward, and find your three-legged dog. Take the hip open in some circles. Maybe you do something else that feels good for you today. Good, go ahead and straighten that leg, square the hips, left knee the nose, lift to plant the foot, release that back leg down, inhale on down yasana, and exhale, straighten the leg, half hanuman, lift the chest, and flow through this a few times. Good. Next, when you're in your Anjani Asana, go ahead and plant those hands down. If you want this option, grab for the back foot. Try to keep those hips and chest square to the front. So you're keeping a nice long spine. No twisting in this pose. Good. Release that back leg. Lift the the knee, and we'll step the back foot in, finding our twist. Reach the right arm up and twist towards the left. Good. Reaching the hands back to the front towards the left foot. Find that lunge once again, turn the toes in, and we'll find our little sway right here. So bending one leg and then the other, releasing your back, release the neck, until we stand tall. So you go an inch higher, an inch higher. Every time as you sway, just let it go. Be a little loose. Inhale, reach the left arm up and over. Good, and this time, let's reach that left arm back behind us and then thread towards the right hand. Reach it back, and then reach towards the right hand. One more time. Reach it back, reach towards the right hand, 
And let's rainbow up and over towards the left side. Take a breath. And then open the right arm. Reach for the left hand. Open the arm and the chest. Reach. Good. Rainbow up and over. Let's find our three-legged dog towards the right side. Open that hip. Hold it there. Square the legs, square the hips, or straighten the legs. Bring the right knee into your chest. Good. Coming into your Andani Asana from here. Let's go ahead and grab that leg right away. So if you want, you can take a little balance with the, through, through the chest, avoiding the knees. You're kind of rolling on top of the thigh a little bit. Maybe take a little look towards your foot. Release, come back to your Anjani Asana. One more breath. And let's straighten the front leg. Good, round forward, breathe. Rock the right hip side to side. Coming back into your lunge, plant your hands, lift the back leg, lift up, and find your twist. Good. From here, so we're in our twist. We're going to keep walking the right foot over a little bit and walk the left foot, so we're coming into our cow face pose, which means our knees are almost on top of another, if they, if not, they are on top of one another. Go ahead, take a look, breath here, lengthen up. You can grab onto your ankles. Good, bring the right arm behind the head, lengthen the left arm up, and then take it behind the back, reaching through your fingertips, open the chest. Maybe you stay here, maybe you round forward or flat back forward. Let's have a flat back. So you're hinging from the hips. One more breath. Good, releasing those arms. I'm turning because you're here. <laughs> All right, go ahead and from here, uncross the legs, bring the right leg back, find that lunge, and then turn towards the left side into your forward fold, into your wide-legged forward fold. And then from here, we're gonna to start to open up, take big, big circles, stretching the side body, bending the legs, rounding forward as you come down. And let's reverse that. up and over, turn towards the left side, find that lunge on the left side, plant the hands, step the left foot back, three-legged dog, open the hip, breathe here. Good, release your neck, square the hips, straight the leg, left knee into chest, lift, and plant, release that back knee down. Come into your arms, belly awesome. Keep the back of your body working to lift the front. Maybe you take your hand down, reach for the back leg. Maybe you take your balance. Maybe you take a little flip towards the back leg. Good, release that. Come into your half Hanuman, lengthen the front leg, toes to the ceiling, chest, lift it. And then round forward, and then start to rock the hip from side to side, stretching all points of the hamstring. Good. 
Start to bend the front leg, lift the back knee, bring it in, find your twist. together so the knees come a little closer, grounding through your sits bones still. Lengthen up, plus 10, let's take the left arm up and over, right arm behind your back. Good, open through your chest, maybe this is enough, or maybe you can have a flat back forward. Release the back of your neck. Release in between your third eye, in between your eyes, relax. Good. Go ahead and lift the chest, unclasp your hands, bring your legs in front of you. All right, lengthen the right leg. Bring the left leg bent behind you. Maybe this is enough for you, or you can come down a little bit. So we'll bring our forearms down, keep lifting the hips up to stretch the hip flexor, to stretch the left quad, and you can come down as low as you would like. So I actually feel it more when I'm lifted, so maybe you're different, everyone's different. chest. Good. Okay. Bring the left leg away um, so the foot is to the mat. We're going to reach, rock to your right side, reach the right arm out and open through your chest. So our left leg is still bent and we're reaching that right arm back. You can bend the arm. You can straighten it. Goal is to fill your chest open here. Take a couple breaths. Maybe you move your arm to a different position. Kind of play with it. All right, let's go ahead and straighten that leg, press ourselves up. This time we'll bend our right leg, bring your right leg back behind you, and start to lower it down to whatever level you feel best at, but keep pressing the hips forward and lengthening that leg actively to feel the stretch a little more. Especially if you're flexible, really try to make it active by pressing your hips and lengthening the leg. Good. And then we'll straighten or bring the leg up, plant the right foot down, rock towards the left side of your mat, bring the left arm out, you can bend it, you can straighten it, bring the chest down. Down, down to the mat, lengthen your chest, your legs are straight, long in front of you, reach your arms up toward the ceiling, reach for your toes, we're going to have a flat back, and then we're going to have a little ripple or snake through a spine, to so pike forward, and lift. Flex your 
stretch your feet for a little more. If your legs can be bent, if your hamstrings are really tight, okay, you don't have to go all the way down. Take it easy. Good. And let's go ahead and roll our spine up, cross over your legs, come back through your cat cow once more. Let's look towards the right, wag your tail, and then look towards the left. Go ahead, take a couple circles. Do whatever you like to do here. And then when you're ready, bring the knees or the hips back to the feet, widen your knees, come into your child's pose. Third eye presses down onto the mat, so find that pressure point and rock your head side to side. Notice how it helps the shoulders and the neck relax. And then slowly begin to just relax the head now and breathe. And then when you're ready, go ahead and sit all the way up. Take your arms, inhale above your head. Bring your hands to heart center. A couple breaths here. light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.